Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Yes, very good morning to all. And uh, myself, I'm Kavita, uh, Assistant Professor of CSE Department. And now I'm going to take topic in uh, problem solving Python programming. I'm taking to now uh, algorithm. First of all, see this. What is algorithm? See, the algorithm is nothing but it is collection of well-defined, unambiguous, and effectively computable instruction. If the three uh, keyword is satisfied means your output will be written proper output. See, first of all, what is well defined? The well defined is the instruction given the algorithm, it should be simple and defined well. And then ambiguous, unambiguous is it's nothing but it should be clear and it not given the ambiguity. Ambiguity is an error. And then next one, effectively computable. The effectively computable is instruction should be written step by step and then it's help to computer to understand for the step-by-step uh, -step process this is the algorithm the three word is remember one is well defined and ambiguous and the next one is effectively computable this three satisfied means this algorithm is a clear algorithm it will be understood the computer easily and the next one in our day-to-day -day life is also there is the algorithm in every day we are follow the algorithm only see this in our cooking recipe the cooking recipe is a step by step process while switch on the stuff after add some ingredients this is the step by step process this is also applicable for writing algorithm and next one our daily routine as a student if you are student now what is the routine if you wake up and come to the bus after you are come to the class at the starting class you have five subjects the five subjects you have the hours and lunch break and then in between the break time everything you are the student life is the follow the day-to-day -day routines and when we buy something when we go outing our class routines this all everything satisfying the algorithm I am giving the one example see this to understand the usage of algorithm look over the following conversation see this is Chitty, the computer representing this is Chitty Robo and this person. Okay, see, hi Chitty, bring me brush. Okay, it will be instructed to the uh, Chitty, but it will bring the normal brush. Okay, if you are giving clear instruction, then only Robo bring the proper brush. Okay, after that, he will correct and said, Hi Chitty, bring me toothbrush. Okay, it will bring correct brush. This is the computer program if you are giving algorithm properly it will be understood the computer easily this is the algorithm see this discuss about the conversation yes before that boy is the top name and then brush his teeth so he asked chitty to bring brush what happened chitty written the cleaning brush this is the problem you are giving correct instruction properly means it will be give the proper output this is the algorithm and the next one why this was happened why this happened in the system means because the statement given the term was not well defined is yes, the first one is not well defined and then ambiguous statement so chitty get confused ambiguous means the computer giving proper instruction now it will be understood if you are giving generally means it will bring some other the common word is uh, applicable for so many uh, objects so it will confuse that is the problem the one is well defined and ambiguous and then that is ambiguous means error unambiguous your statement will be unambiguous and then chitty get confused bring some brush to top then this is what happened if the user give ambiguity statement to the computer therefore the algorithm should be simple and well defined this is the simple and well defined and how an algorithm should be algorithm should be what what will be in present in this algorithm now it should be simple english yes yeah, simple english only understand the system and every uh, robotics or anything will be understood simple english what you are designed it in that uh, robotics now it will be understood easy and the next one what your program want to say if your program start middle and the end there are three part 
okay and then probably an algorithm should be also there the start point you have to start and then stop you will be end of the program and then middle part in the middle it should have set of tasks that computer want to do and it should be simple english and clear to avoid ambiguous should give no for each step this is the process well defined unambiguous and then effectively computable this process done now it will be stop okay let's look over the simple example the algorithm write in helps to computer to validate user email address okay i am writing algorithm for computer to validate user email address see this the first step is start and then second step the information it will be well defined and ambiguous and then third one is effectively computable this three satisfy now your algorithm is properly understood the computer the final one is stop see the instruction middle part create a variable to get the user email address clear the variable in case it's not empty ask the user for an email address store the response in the variable check the store the responsible if the valid or not valid go back this is the instruction but this instruction will not given clearly so the computer will be confused see the again same example dr paul fed the above algorithm to chitty and go on test how it will work okay see chitty asked tom to enter email address tom entered but chitty gets confused don't note no which process to be done next because the center one center part will be a not step by step process first one is it's simple english and then well defined yes it will be satisfied unambiguous yes it not a error but it will be a computable effectively computable means it will be a step by step process then only your computer understood properly so it will be confused the next slide you see this is append this was happened because the instruction given the algorithm does not number of each step so chitty get confused okay if you are writing the algorithm now you get give step by step that is step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 up to uh, your algorithm will be continue after that complete now you will put stop see this and then so chitty get confused which is step i have to do to avoid this ambiguity we should number each step while writing an algorithm the first step is and then before algorithm we have to rewrite it step 1 start in algorithm you have to write now the first step is start and then second step create the variable to get the user email address this is the second step and the next one clear the variable in case is not empty okay and then third one ask the user for an email address and then fifth step store the response in the variable after that check the stored response to see if the valid email address the last step not valid go back and then finally it going to be stop it will be write in step by step eight steps okay this is the clearly write in simple english step by step process your algorithm will write like this it, then only your computer will be easily understood okay this is the algorithm example see the diagrammatical representation again dr paul refed the algorithm to chetty now let's see how it work enter your email address yes and then tom at gmail.com check the response for the valid email yes it's valid means now dr paul feel happy about the chitty if your instruction giving correctly now nah, it will pro produce the proper output if you are not giving correctly definitely you did not get proper output and the next one algorithm template your algorithm template like this only name input output context solution analysis the name is what is name the description name of the algorithm and it should be a bold font we use name to communicate algorithm for other for example now using sequential search you give the name sequential search for the algorithm and then input output describe the expected format of input data to the algorithm result value computable in the formulas also you have to give in the step by step itself the algorithm step is also applicable this is the input output and then context means in algorithm useful when it will perform as it best it will be 
implemented successfully. This is the, the context and then solution algorithm described using real working code with the documentation and the next analysis now finally the analysis it will be correct mean it will show the output if the any error now it will show this error this uh, this line having the error you go and clear it this is the process for program as well as write the algorithm also the steps are name input output context solution and then analysis after that it has been proven any algorithm can be constructed from three basic buildings. In this three basic buildings only construct for the algorithm. The basic buildings of threes are nothing, sequence, selection, iteration. Iteration means iterated repetition. Sequence means first one, a sequence is this describes sequence of action that a program carries out one after another unconditionally. Okay, suppose I am giving you one example, it will be understood easily. Execute a list of statement in order. Okay, algorithm for baking bread. Bread, uh, bread making process, if you are writing sequentially step by step. This is the sequential uh, algorithm. There are three building plus first one sequential, second selection and then third one iteration. Iteration is repetitions. This is three types of algorithm we have to write. The first one sequential means step, step by step. This algorithm applicable in the cooking recipes. See this, first algorithm step one, add flour. Baking bread means add flour and then second step add salt and then third step add yeast and then fourth step mix well and then step five add water and then six knead and then seven let rise after step eight it will be baked. This is the step by step process sequential process. This one process is done means next step will be chart that, that is the sequential if one step is completed now after that next step you will be start this is the sequential algorithms and the next one selection the selection in before the sequential is having one example that is algorithm for addition of two numbers see the step one start get two numbers as input stored in a and b after step three add the number a and b store into c and then step four print c step five Stop. This is the algorithm to write uh, addition of two numbers. This is the sequence algorithm. Three building block. The first one sequence is satisfied. Addition of two numbers. And the next one selection. Selection means the program construct the allow a program to choose between different action. This are that. That is if else. If you are using in the program if else statement, that algorithms comes under from selection statement, selection algorithm. In this before, one step is completed after next step started now, that process comes under from select sequential. In the selection, if you feel uh, that is decision making or conditional statement, any statement you are using in your program now, that program algorithm is comes under from selection. Selection, see the example algorithm for path chooser. Path chooser means this or that. First step, check for the des destination location from current position. Yes, that's the start point and the end point. That is destination location from current position. Step two, if it is located in right, then choose right way. If it is located in left, then choose left way. Else, come back and search for the new way. This is the, this or that. Searching some things. Using if else statement now, one statement is correct, another statement is false. This types of uh, statements using in your program, that algorithm comes under the selection algorithms. And the next one, now one example of this selection algorithm, algorithm to find biggest among two numbers. You see this, step one start, get two numbers as input, again store into A and B, after that if A is greater than B now, print A is big, otherwise print B is big. This is if else, you see it is the selection algorithm. And the next one repetition or iteration, see the repetition means maybe a smaller program then can be executed several times in the main program, repeated block that is one part of the condition will be 
uh, execute again and again means that is called repetition. This example is while and then for loop. If the condition is satisfied till the program will be executed again and again. And then algorithm washing dishwash. See this? Write the simple algorithm. Step 1. Stack dish by sink. And then step 2. Fill sink with hot soapy water. While more dishes. Get dishes from counter. Wash dish. Put dish into drain rack. End oil. And then wipes off counter. Rains out sink. Yes, if you are a dishwasher using now, if uh, uh, vessels are adding, uh, if you are start the dishwasher after some vessels are came now, it will be uh, stop mode and then put vessels added. This is the while loop. The process will be repeated while the end of the program. And then example of repetition, calculate factorial number. See, step one, start, read the number num initialize i is equal to 1 and fact is equal to 1 repeat the step 4 through 6 until 1 is equal to num this is the repetition factorial tends to fact dot i and then i tends to i plus 1 the repeated fact when you are getting the output on that time it will be stop this is the algorithm notation expression algorithm see this used for calculation and data processing if you are giving input that will be step by step method solving the problem during a task after producing the output in between this part is considered as a algorithm okay this process executed in the cpu central processing unit the programs also execute there only but in before you have to give algorithm properly if the algorithm properly now the whole program will be understood easily that's all about the algorithm. Thank you.